After the workshop, what was an aha moment for you? And they, more than one parent said to find out how many hours of sleep my preschooler needs. They had no idea it was between 10 and 13 hours. I was getting answers when I asked them during the workshop. I was getting seven and eight hours. Providing parents with that information is hugely going to make an impact on us. Uh, we have kids at times falling asleep during the day or are extremely crabby because they're not getting the sleep that they need. Um, you know, as a principal, discipline at times will be directed to me. Then I have a little chair in the office where the kids can go sit. And nine out of ten times, the kids fall soundly asleep. And we all know immediately that behavior is directly correlating to the lack of sleep the night prior. So maybe in ADHD, when in fact there's a lot of research showing it could be simply that a child doesn't have enough sleep. So boy, if we're able to catch parents and teachers and talk about this now, we can change the trajectory of a child's life. So our Sweet Dreams Early Childhood Sleep Education Program is for teachers such as Renee, preschool teachers, parents, and the preschool students themselves. And we're holding teddy bears here in our hand which are instrumental to the children learning. Because somebody says, how do you teach a three and four year old about healthy sleep habits? They, we do it through the bear. Well, the University of Michigan has studied our early childhood sleep education program and there's a published paper showing that our program brought 30 additional minutes of sleep each weeknight on average to preschoolers. And there's all kinds of research out there that says the benefits of that in children's uh, behavior in the classroom and ability to focus. So we're a research supported program. As a teacher, sleep is the number one thing. I can tell if a child hasn't had enough sleep, especially Monday mornings, that's the best indicator. We had originally 9,000 children on our wait list and we go bottom up and try to reach those that uh, have been on our wait list the longest. I can see the little kids talking to their you know, little brothers and we gotta go to bed at 8.30. When I hear kids, that lets me know that it was a really good program and they're actually implementing the strategies at home. Uh, my mother has five kids and um, we move from house to house. So whenever we left, we left the bed, we left the refrigerator. So my sisters and I, you know, we slept four to a bed and it was a, a full bed. So to have a sleeping bag or just to have, you know, my own cover, I would have felt like I hit the lottery or something. Dear Sweet Dreams, thank you for teaching me good sleeping habits. You made me smarter. Thank you for teaching me that we think better, we feel better, we feel happier, we play better, we eat better, we do better, and we work better. When we go to bed at 8 o'clock or 8.30, and thank you for everything.